Well, in a season of traditions and with Thanksgiving behind us, many people are looking to buy a farm grown Christmas tree. And while it last year there was a shortage of trees, this year that does not seem to be an issue. New Zero 9's Mai Graham hit a couple of tree farms earlier today. She joins us now live from Kimmy's Trees in Columbus. So Mai, so what is it looking like out there? Are there uh, many people out there shopping for live trees? Well, Barbara, many people are pulling up into Kimmy Farms here off of Whittlesley Road to pick out a Christmas tree with their family. I just saw a family pull up with their young kids and they're pretty excited to pick out a Christmas tree. The owner here says they have been selling trees in Columbus since 1983. It's a family tradition to have real trees. I love the smell. You can smell it when you walk on the lot out here. Christmas tree farms are expecting the upcoming weeks to be very busy. Although there was a shortage last year, Kimmy tree owner Gilbert Miller says that's not the case this year. Last year was definitely a shortage. It was across all heights, so from three foot all the way up to 15 feet. This year, the suppliers have caught up a little bit. Their pruning programs have gotten better, but our issue is really from about eight and a half feet up. And while many things are costing more these days, Miller says the price of his trees are higher this year. Last year, a six foot tree cost around $55. So our trees start at three feet tall and those are anywhere from 25 to $35. They move on up from there. So our five to six foot tall trees are in that $45, $55 range. Six foot on up is, is above six. Dave's Christmas tree owner David Bone says he has been selling trees for 27 years and his five foot trees start around $100. Bone says if you are concerned about bugs coming in your home from the tree, he has a remedy that keeps them off. We put a pesticide on them when they're growing. Um, also, as far as uh, there's a flame retardant, so your house won't catch on fire like the storage you heard 100 years ago. These aren't pines. These are a Fraser fir family. Um, the trees do well in the house. Miller says there are a few things people should know if they plan to get a real Christmas tree. Miller says it's important to put your tree in warm water once you get home. So if you think about when what what a bathtub when it feels good, that sort of hot temperature and you relax after a stressful day, that's the temperature of water you ought to be putting in your Christmas tree. It, it releases a sap on the bottom. You got to think these trees are in shock having been cut from their roots. And so they're trying to absorb moisture and they really can't, but that hot water prevents the sap from congealing on the bottom and locking up. So if you're interested in getting a real Christmas tree this holiday season, both tree farms are open from around 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. They also offer wreaths, garland, and so much more. So be sure to come on out and get you a nice smelling Christmas tree. Live in Columbus, I'm Amaya Graham reporting for WTVM News Leader 9. And they do smell real good. And, and Amaya, I have to admit, I learned something. I've been getting a real tree forever. And the thing about putting it in warm water, I never knew that to now. So that is a nice little tip to give folks. Thank you very much. All right.